Hey, this is Gene. I just want to talk about that game real quick. And I have some comments about uh, the fan forum on United Stand and how absolutely, I don't even know, they're out, of, they're out of fucking touch. Anyway, and I like Ricky. A lot of his viewpoints I agree with. Today, he's whatever. I thought that Mark was very measured after the game. When I talk about Mark, I talk about Mark Garbage. I thought that we played pretty well, especially the first 30 minutes. Um, game got opened up, and then we had some issues with them. Onana made really good saves, two or three of them. But after that, they had different times in the game that they were okay. They had the ball, looked like they would score. But we had several chances. Garnacho could have had a hat trick. So could have um, um, Anthony. He got one. Um, I thought we played pretty well. And I talked about this before in other videos. There are many times that we'll play a, a team, and people are saying these are this is a championship team. And I think that's so, what's the word? It's not, it's not very good. It, it, it dis, it dis, what's the word? What are they thinking about? We played Coverdine City, who was in the mid table or about eighth in, in the championship. Uh, we're up three, nothing in that game, made some individual errors, end up winning. And then we played uh, Sheffield United, who came from the championship as promoted side and we outplayed them, but they got a couple goals, bad errors, stuff as well. Had four goals, could have had seven or eight in that game. And then we had Burnley, came from the championship, been promoted, uh, was a, what a really good championship team. I, don't, I think had 100 points. Um, and the last half of the season, they played really well. They're a, a mid-table type of game team now. They're not, they're not, they're down there because of how they started the season. Uh, the last seven or eight games, they've only lost one game. Um, and clearly, we should still beat teams like that at home, especially. Um, but this idea, and this is what Ricky said, that we're shocking because we can't put away championship players or championship teams. These are premiership teams, except for Coventry City. That's almost, that's offensive because they're in, prim they're in the premiership. Every team in the, member the premiership can beat any other team. That's why we look at that as the greatest league in the world. Um, and that's what happens. It's, it's rare that you can go through there and not have a shock. And I thought we played okay. And again, we have to understand what we have. We have Casemiro playing in the back. We have uh, Erickson who hadn't really played much, but he's starting to get his footing back again uh, with Bruno. And I think they played okay, but they missed a lot of open areas. The players were open. We had a lot of chances. It could have been three or four nothing in the first half. If you give every decent chance that um, Burnley had, it could be 4-2 at halftime. The second half, they started okay, but then we kind of dominated the game again, and we had several chances to score. Um, it's just one of those games, and this happens quite a bit. And people just forget that we had these type of games while we had Sir Ferguson, that we would dominate it. Now, it wasn't as the wave and wave and wave and wave that we had because we had players that are infinitely better than we have now that continually go back and back and back, and we had a set solid back four. We don't have that anymore. But we clearly could have had four or five goals today. But when I when Mark comes out as being measured about it, he's upset about the VAR. I'm upset about it. Again, there's no consensus. It, it's, if, it's, if it's a penalty against Wambasak, it has to be a penalty tonight, today, against Burnley. So after that's all done, and he says, I "Just want basically we want consensus. He wants the club to come out and say, we echo what um, Forrest said or what Arsenal said said or Liverpool said because it's not consistently correctly done." But when I got people on the fan forum sitting there saying that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be upset because the VAR doesn't give us a penalty for us, and it's like, why? Are, should are, are because they're Manchester United, we should be able to just just uh, put these guys out uh, because they're Burnley. These guys are in the Premiership. Anybody, uh, I'm telling you, even during <laughs> during Ferguson uh, times, we lost to teams that were number t that were twentieth in the league at home. So this uh, this idea that it just never happens. Now we played. I could talk to many games that we totally dominated teams and didn't win a game and ended up drawing with them. I wouldn't say we totally dominated them, but this idea that we were outplayed? Seriously?
The only time they had any chance is when we were so far up the field that they would do something on the, the counterattack. Uh, but McGuire was very good today. He stopped a couple of those things. They had a, two really good chances in the first half. After that, they didn't do anything, really. They, and we continually pushed and pushed and pushed. And that, at, at that point in the game, 70 minutes in, it was more, uh, both teams had to win the game if we want to be in Europe next year and not be in the Conference League. So we're both trying to get the goal. And we get the goal. Anthony, very smart there, saw the pass before it happened. Intercepted it, ended up with a goal. But he could have had three. Garnacci could have had three. <laughs> uh, Von Vasaku should have at least a shot there. And Bruno had, could have had a shot. And at the end of the game, the last five minutes of the game, we had four or five really good champion, champion chances. And then during that time, there was clearly a, a handball in the penalty box. And I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like when a fan sits there and says we shouldn't be begging to get this because we're Manchester United. All we want is that the, it, be, it be fair and equitable. Now, yeah, we had a lot of things go our way under Ferguson. We did. There was no VAR. We had several penalties that went our way. But I can also talk about the year that we went and won the double. Uh, we lost to Port, Portsmouth at home, I think. Yeah. And uh, Ronaldo got knocked over in, in the penalty box. No call. And we lost that game one nothing. And there, that could have been another trouble, but it didn't happen. And you deal with that. That happens because you don't have the VAR. You don't have anything to go back and look at. We don't have that. So, but now we do. And there has to be some sort of standards when it comes to handballs in the box. The guy had almost exactly the same thing that Wambasaka had against um, Coventry City. It's almost the exact time. And his, his hands is down by his side and it's out maybe a, a foot off of that. He stops that ball getting across the six box. Uh, the six-yard box, that could be a potential goal there. It's clearly a penalty. And um, we can sit there and say, oh, it's, we're just complaining because we're Manchester United. And the only thing that Mark is really saying, yeah, he was upset about it, we all are, is that it needs to be consistent. And we've been asking about this for a couple of years, and it's not. And I think that Dar Garnacho was probably a penalty in the first half, but I think that was more soft. Yes, he touches the ball barely, but he still touches, uh, hits him uh, before he goes down. Yes, no, and I think uh, there were other issues in that game that could have been a penalty. Um, but for, for a normal game, when you look at the entire season, that was in the top 10 or 15 of our performances. It was. It clearly was. So when you get these people on the fan forum saying it's, it's the fan, it's, it, why did they do these, these, these uh, substitutions? It was 0-0 at that time, and guess what happened? We scored after that. Uh, and I think Ahmad actually opened up the, the bowl more. And he, him and Anthony was having a nice little um, park, partnerships there. They go back and forth with each other. And it got and Anthony just got more air open in, in his side of the field. And he had several chances at the end of that game to win that game. And we should have won the game. Nobody died. We were the better team. We had 27 shots. We had four or five that were probably should have been a 50-50 uh, goal. So that's two or three goals right there. We didn't do it, um, and they didn't do nothing. The, the issue you do is when you're up one nothing, you can't allow the ball to come in your, your penalty box because crazy things can happen. And what Casemiro did, try to head it back to an Onana with people around him, was stupid. And I don't really blame Onana. I, I personally don't think it's a penalty. I think that the ball's gone already. Uh, but right away, they went to the VAR, and right away he goes and looked at it. He didn't, he didn't go look the one for uh, Anthony. He wouldn't do that. Uh, what, to me, it was clearly a penalty. Or it's not. Just tell me which one's a penalty when it comes to handball in the box. Just let me know what that is, and we'll go from there. Uh, aren't they, don't they tell their, the players to put the ball, the, their hands behind their back so they don't have this? He was clearly outside at least 6 to 12 inches, and it hit his hand. He stopped that ball going to where it needed to go. That's a handball. It's in the penalty box. It's a penalty. It, it just is. And I don't care who, what size it is. That's what it is. So that's why he was upset about it. And I just don't understand, well, we shouldn't be blagging VAR to look at it and give us a penalty. Uh, if it's a penalty, and it's been, used, it's been used several times this year as a reason to be a penalty, then we should ask, why is it not a penalty now? 
and the club should come out and say, there's something going on here. You're not consistent enough. We need to figure out what the actual rules when it comes to handballs in the penalty box. Because we had that earlier this year with Garnacho hit the guy and the ball was up. His hands were up here, out of his body, hit, nothing. It's, it's weird this year. And certain, it seems that some, some certain teams get these all the time and others don't. And again, I'm not going to say, obviously, we've had, in the past, we've gotten many things go our way. And we're a big club. So, yeah. But I don't like it when somebody sits there and says, I don't understand why people are upset about the VAR. We should be able to bring uh, Burnley by 8 to eight, year, 8 nothing. I'm like, nobody does that. No. It's, it's rare that that happens. Sometimes it happens. And it's crazy when it happens. The league is still con competitive, although the city probably will win it again. But from, from two down, it's always competitive. And it's rare that this really happens. It might later in the game. It could happen today. But one nothing. We have, he had a chance. Bruno had a chance to score. It could have been 2 nothing, And that game could have ended at 4 nothing. You don't know. But we don't score there. We have opportunities and then we don't get the second goal, shit can happen. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a flight deflected goal. It happened against Governance City. Our lug is not that great this year, but whatever. I just, I don't understand it. And I think that that's what the issue is now with our fan base is that I, they want to blame the brand man. There's nothing that the manager could have done differently today. The only bad thing now, it looks like McTominay's probably hurt. And, you know, I, can we live without him? Probably, but Scotland can't. You know, and he, that's why he was upset at the end of the game. He's, he probably thinks he's probably not going to be in the Euros now. And he came in and, and was up up top with, uh, like, what Rasmus was doing. But Ahmad was doing, I mean, there was a lot of things that happened when he when he changed the team around, and I thought we played a lot better after that. But there's still, I can't believe that he brings an Amrabat instead of Mount. And I'm like, Mount just came back from an injury. And then he came, played for a little bit, got injured again. Yeah, we're going to bring him on now with 20 minutes left. It's like it's like they just don't under fucking understand it. They, I'm in the stadium and everybody's upset because he didn't bring this person on. Okay. Okay, you're a fan. But there's nothing that Kent, Ten Hag couldn't have done there. They had the, We had the game won. We had several opportunities to get two, three, or four goals. We didn't do it. And now when you don't do that, you, you, you usually cuss... Uh, Suffer the consequences. I just think to look at what, what Ricky said, and I'm like I said, normally I, I agree with him, but when he said that about those three teams, and all, one of them is still in the championship, and then basically saying that, well, uh, they were in the championship, and they're championship teams. No, they're not. Two of them are in the premiership. Now, Sheffield's go, Sheville, Sheffield Wendy, or Sheffield United is going to go back down, but they're on the premiership. It's, it, it's, 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 I don't, I don't know what the word is, but it's, it's, you don't, you don't do that. Um, I think that actually we played okay in those two games at home. We controlled the ball. It, we're better with Erickson in the game with Bruno. Erickson has issues because he can't really defend. Um, and he was, after the first 20 minutes, they started pressing him a little bit and he started losing the ball a little bit. But still, I thought he played well. And, um, he could have scored too. I mean, there are so many opportunities that were in the box, in the box, and we only got one goal. We definitely could have had, I mean, Casemiro almost scored at the end too. We had, and then we had the penalty that wasn't given. It looked like McTominay got hit in the, claw, in, in, the in the ground. Now, he probably did something to ACL. I don't know if that was something that he did to himself or he got hit. I don't even know. They didn't even go back and look at it. But, I don't know, man. I guess we move on. You know, everybody's up. You know, maybe if Chelsea beats As Aston Villa there, then we're going to be up. I, I don't care. We, I mean, the hardest thing that we have left is if we beat City in the FA Cup, we're going to be in the Euro Europa League anyway. And that's, we could probably have a 20% chance of beating Chelsea or um, City. But I, I kind of like the way we played the last two games. And then these fans, I mean, I don't, we actually have more control than we've had all year. And then when the game gets open, um, that's nice to see as well. But that's all we really can do right now. And the problem is we don't have fat du fast fast dudes on the back. So when they broke break up, they only have one really good opportunity that Maguire couldn't get back and it was good to pass. And it was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and Onana saved it. 
and there were two other good shaves that he made. Three. So he had four really good saves. Uh, and that was all they had. Then they got the penalty. All the other ones, he could have stayed, and they had 12 or 15 shots, but those were the four chances. We had, I think Carnaccio himself had four. I think Anthony had three. I think Bruto had one or two. Um, we had plenty of opportunities to, to do things. Casemiro had a couple chances, too. Uh, 27 shots, 10 on goal. Um, guys that, I mean, Bruno shot, what just hit the, hit the post. I mean, any other game, any other day, it might be a 3-1, 4-1 type of game. So I, I'm okay where we're at. I don't want to be 6th or 7th in the league. But it's, I think we have more control than we've had. Now, again, they're, they're not the best competition. And I understand that viewpoint. But when you sit there and say that, say, oh, they're not really premiership teams, that's bullshit. They, they got in there. They're, they're a premiership team, no matter where they're at, could definitely do well in the first division in France, Germany, and, and Italy. They would not get relegated. I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you for watching. And thank you for uh, listening. And uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought about the game. It sucks that it's a draw. Uh, you know, um, we really need to get the three points. And I just, before I leave, all these people that are just want this season to end, I see it all on Twitter and shit. I mean, I'm going to tell you, for me as a sports fan, that once the season's over, I'm like, and there's nothing for me to watch until... Uh, American football comes back, college football comes back, the, the premiership comes back. So I'm going to miss it, absolutely going to miss it. Now I'm going to be driving around the, the country doing stuff, but when I get back, it still won't be back. And I love having it every weekend to be able to watch my team, regardless of what's going on with it. It's been a crazy year, a lot of drama. Um, it's, it's, it's still must-see must TV, and I, I can't wait for us to do better. And I'm going to support this team no matter what. That's who I do. I've been doing this for 40 years. Um, and also before I leave, if Mark ever hears this, I know he's a fan. I disagree with him on certain things, certainly with Mason Ringwood. But the last couple of weeks, I think he's been almost spot on a lot of things. Like I said, I'm one of his worst critics out there. I don't have any fan. Nobody watches me. But uh, every now and then I get some videos out there that go over two or a thousand, two thousand views. And the guy's got a lot of people that are on, on his side. But all the shit he's taken the last couple of days, probably not deserved. Uh, but, but he's been right, and he, and he was right after the game. And you can be upset as a fan saying you think he got robbed because he didn't call the penalty um, just because you want consistency. And then you have other people that you consider fans said that we shouldn't be begging to get a VAR. Now, you can be upset about when a couple of times it looked like the Carnacho was diving or maybe even... Um, Casemiro was diving. Well, go and watch the city game play, especially when they're they need to they need to score. How many times those guys go down? And every now and then they get rewarded by going down. So anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later.